Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is um, if you guys have a YouTube channel and you want to do games and do kind of like a selecting things, I guess you would say, we're going to create a, a roulette wheel on today's uh, how-to. So for under 20 bucks, today is your day on how to make a very simple and effective roulette wheel. So stay tuned. Here we go. This is, this is how we make this thing. All right, everybody, so let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and start the assembly process of this, uh, this the game wheel spinner. Right here, I have the actual spin wheel. Um, this was a piece of wood that was already pre-cut that I bought at a craft store, cost uh, with the coupon, it was like $3. So um, what I'm gonna do is I actually painted it with the chalk color already, and I drew, I used a Sharpie um, pen marker and I drew the lines for the pie shaped. And I did this before I marked it. Um, and what I did was I used a little spacer and at the end of each um, line, I put a peg, a hole where we're gonna put the pegs in. These are the actual pegs. So well, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and um, let's put these in right now. So what we're gonna do is we are going to use a little hammer and we're going to line up a peg. We'll get it started. And let's go ahead and get these tapped in. I'm just going to use a cheap uh, piece of wood for this. And there you go, right to the bottom. So there's one. They're actually really sturdy. I was going to use wood glue, but I'm actually not going to use that. So um, let's go ahead and do each one. These little pegs cost $1.49 each. Um, they were, there is seven per pack. So I actually needed two because I needed eight. So let's go. All right, so there we go. We went ahead and got all the pegs in there. I chipped a little piece right there. It must have been a weak corner of the wood. Uh, I'll just touch that up with some black paint and none be the wiser. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, get this mounted on the baseboard here. This piece here was actually um, $5. Instead of me actually buying all the wood and cutting it and putting it together, it's actually, as you can see, it's the shape of a snowman. And uh, I thought it'd be a pretty cool uh, thing to use. It cost me five bucks. I didn't have to cut anything. And it actually has these awesome lights, which I'm going to use for um, putting lights in it. So let's go ahead and get this guy on and put this together. Like I said, this whole thing costs $20 total. And that's including the paint that I bought. Um, I already had the marker. Um, I already had the, the wood glue. So I don't even think it was 20. I think it was more like 16, but let's just say 20 bucks. So what we need to do is we're going to use a carriage bolt. Put the carriage bolt in here. I'm going to use three washers, two, three. Okay, and then this is actually a spacer bolt to keep it off of the... And I'm just putting it snug enough so that it spins. Okay, it has a little bit of play in it, and that's that. So now, let's go ahead and get this guy tightened on. So, put it on here like that. And then there's one large washer behind it. And this is actually a Loctite bolt.
And there it is. So there is the spinner in action. A little bit of paint. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so next thing I did was I got this off of another guy from YouTube. I forget who it was. If you look up how to build one of these. This is the actual little flapper piece right here. Um, this is actually off of a soda bottle. So what I'm going to do is put this here. And in theory, that's what's going to happen. And I left it. And I left it long so that I can trim it as needed. So let's go ahead and glue that guy on there. There it is. That's perfect. So there's the spinner right there. And doink. All right, so what I'm going to do is trim this down just a little bit with some scissors there. And there she is. All right, so next thing we're going to do, let me get a close-up of that there. Like I said, this piece right here is just off of a, uh, just a little piece of soda bottle. Didn't cost anything but the cost of a soda bottle. So, All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put all the lights in right now. And let me show you those real quick, and then we will go from there. All right, so here are the lights. These are the actual lights that go behind the, um, in each individual hole. So we will start at the bottom and work our way up. Stay tuned, I'm gonna get these in here and we'll be right back. All right, everybody, so I got the, uh, the uh, game wheel, roulette game wheel spinner gun. And I'm going to go ahead and I got all the lights in. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see what it looks like. It's pretty cool. I actually check, checked it out already. Booyah! So this is what we're going to be using in our videos when we do roulette games. Um, you know, Bean Boozled or things like that. Whenever we want to do like a choose your own. I kind of wanted to come up with uh, a cool spinner wheel. All the spinner wheels that I found online were either $50, $60, more. And I made this thing for a lot less than 20 bucks just at my local uh, craft store. If I don't say so myself, I think this thing's pretty rad. So I don't have any chalk to show you, but you get the point. Here it is. Not bad, huh? It's nothing. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope it gave you some ideas um, to make, uh, make your own little game spinner. So we'll see you next time. I'm making my cover photo. What do you think? It looks good. Does it?